Hi everyone, just out in my garden today with my little friend Bella. She's always tagging along as usual. I'm just doing some chores in the early garden in the spring. Just wanted to show you what I was working on today. Uh, working in my raised bed planter. It's about uh, probably 16, 18 inches high off the ground. Um, as you know, I have arthritis, so bending is not too uh, easy for me. I have uh, two knee replacements, but I'm a determined gardener, so I'm going to be keeping it up as long as I can, and uh, this makes it a little easier for me. I don't have to bend as much. Today I'm working on planting my tomatoes. and just wanted to go through the process that I use. Um, it would be nice uh, to hear from anybody who has any other suggestions about growing tomatoes or planting tomatoes. Um, this is what I do. I uh, started my transplants inside. Um, they're all waiting uh, patiently to come out. It's um, May 23rd here today, and still a little chilly to be putting them out. Um, it's still getting down to about 8 to 10 degrees Celsius at night in our area, so it's a little cold for the tomatoes. So I'm keeping them inside for a while longer. Uh, and when they're ready, I want them to be in a good environment because I've taken so much time with them uh, raising them and getting them to, to be a healthy plant, so I don't want to ruin my chances of getting a good harvest. So I'm preparing the soil. Uh, this was a new bed we put in this year, so it has uh, basic garden soil, just gener generic garden soil. And I've been adding to that some peat um, and some homemade compost, what I have. I don't have a whole lot of homemade compost. Um, so I'm using... Um, a new product this year for fertilizing. It's called Sea Meal. I'll put the link uh, down below my video um, just to let you know uh, the company if you're interested in trying it out. But it's basically a, a powdered, kind of a powdered mix of all kinds of um, uh, sea products. So seaweed and general things like that. And it's very organic and very healthy. Gives a good boost to your plants when you first put them in. So I've, I'm digging um, quite deep holes because the tomatoes get buried quite deep. Uh, when you grow your tomatoes inside, uh, sometimes with the lighting conditions that I have, they get quite leggy. So then when I plant them out in the garden, I dare, bury them quite deep and they will grow roots from the stems. So there's no problem with that. Uh, you may have to take off a few bottom leaves and just bury them deep in the ground. And into each hole, what I put is about, um, I guess, a tablespoon of just generic Epsom salts that I buy uh, from my lo local pharmacy. I actually am a manager of a pharmacy, so I get them there, and they're just uh, not uh, any kind of fragrance in them, just the plain Epsom salts. So I add about a tablespoon to each hole. I add some eggshells just for calcium. Um, some people say you can add just like a Tums calcium tablet. I don't know. I've never done that. but uh, And then I'm adding just uh, a good handful of the sea meal. So that's what I'm doing. Um, hopefully this will get them off to a really good start, and uh, it'll be great.